Greetings, travelers, and welcome to episode 37 of Westeros Craft Walks with your faithful host, Dutch Guard. In today's episode, we'll be exploring Lemonwood, the seat of the knightly house Dalt in Dorne. And you might be looking at this view right now and thinking, hang on a second, Dutch. I've seen this before. This is Planky Town. You've already done an episode on Planky Town, and you'd be absolutely right. But you'll know that by following this road, just on the outskirts of Planky Town, you'll eventually find yourself in some citrus groves. Um, we've got some oranges growing here, but more importantly, a little bit further along, we've got some lemon trees, which might clue you into the fact that we are very near Lemon Wood. And uh, Lemon Wood wouldn't be anywhere without its lemon tree orchards, and so that's something we just had to include. So we've got all these lovely lemon trees around here, um, with our custom lemon tree leaf blocks. We've also got some date palms as well. We've got this small wall, sort of, um, acting as a barrier and a border between Planky Town and Lemonwood, though presumably the two have a very close relationship. And here we are just on the main road towards Lemonwood. You can see the peaks of its towers there in the distance. Of course, we do have the uh, narrow sea to the west here, along with some of the ships going in and out of Planky Town. So some lovely date palms around the area, those beautiful tall date palms. And we also have these lovely irrigation canals, and uh, I just think it's a really cool feature in such a dusty and arid climate. Water control is very, very important. We also have these baskets of lemons everywhere for the uh, harvesters to collect these ripened lemons. Um, and um, yeah, so lemon trees also have these beautiful flowers which we've added there. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is just showing off, I think, um, this might be the first Dornish keep I'm showing you, and it's definitely the first Dornish knightly house I'm showing you, which is crossing this little bridge here again, and one of those um, canals under us there. And um, we've got some lovely fields here growing a various uh, number of different crops. We've got some beans there, looks like some um, kind of herbs in the distance there, some cranberries around here as well. And I just wanted to show you before we continue that um, these irrigation canals also have these lovely sluice gates here, um, which control the flow of water from its source um, through the fields and through the, um, the groves of lemon trees. And so you can see these have been closed, and so the canals here are dry. Um, so there is a sort of logic and a technology behind um, nurturing these lovely lemon woods or lemons from uh, which Lemonwood gets its name. But anyway, here's the main feature of our tour today. It's the Keep uh, Lemonwood. Um, I'm tempted to say castle, but it might not be large enough to be a castle. Um, so we've got sort of your typical Dorn style here. These beautiful, um, I don't know what you call them really, sort of the onion-shaped roofs, sort of the bulb-shaped roofs. It is sort of typical of um, the Dornish style, which they adapted from the Rhoynish, who of course came from um, Essos. And um, here we've got sort of all of your homely keep needs. You've got um, sort of your central well in the in the yard here. You've got some stables for horses, some hay piles, because um, horses need food. <laughs> um, we've got um, a smithy out here as well. I know we've got a sept around here somewhere. Um, I did do some exploration, but it was all very preliminary and um, not particularly in depth and we've got some jail cells here as well of course very important for the um, the heretics of Planky Town perhaps for the lemon woods to take care of those um, guys there um, now uh, I think the knight of Lemonwood um, he must be sort of the protector of Planky Town I'm guessing that's sort of the relationship they have um, since Planky Town itself doesn't really have um, a, uh, a sort of a lord or a, a house upon um, where Planky Town is its seat. Um, but uh, the, the Knight of Lemonwood must sort of keep a, a close eye on them. Um, so here you've got a nice view of the keep here. You can see a scorpion on the wall there. A scorpion being sort of just a large medieval crossbow thing for shooting massive people-sized bolts out at ships or um, attacking armies. Um, so a very useful sort of thing to have in your castle. Um, so just cutting along these battlements here on the walls of the keep, we're going to be making our way into the maester's chambers, which means that, yes, our first stop in this keep is the rookery. Just turning things around today, we've got some lovely cages here, and through here we've got the maester's chambers um, with a nice little writing desk and just his bed over here. Not the nicest bed in the world, he sort of has his clothes drying over his bed, which probably isn't the most sanitary or driest thing to do, but we are in Dorn, so clothes must dry relatively quickly. We've got some lovely ships out here as well, just out in the port of Lemonwood. Got some beautiful merchant vessels, a galley perhaps looked like, 
Um, and those are the colors of House Dalt, sort of the yellow and purple. They're, um, they're a yellow lemons on a purple field, I think is what their sigil is. And just continuing on through the keep, we can see this lovely little mezzanine balcony over the main hall here, the feast hall, which I think is quite lavishly furnished. Furnished. You've got some um, banners of House Dalt as well as the banners of the House Martell as well. Um, of course, Sunspear is very near Planky Town and Lemonwood, so they must have a very close relationship with them. Um, this must be the chambers of uh, a Septa or a Septon who resides here, as you can tell by the faith of the Seven Banner here, the different colors and the Seven Pointed Star. We've got another little uh, sort of a private dining area. I still love this candlestick, uh, just like the one we saw at Ivy Hall, so hopefully that becomes a trend. You'll notice that um, we do develop different kinds of trends here on Westeros Craft, um, all for the better, of course. And we do have these lovely, beautiful um, custom blocks for uh, Dorne, as you can see here, some pattern blocks here in sandstone and some of those beautiful mosaic sort of painted sandstone blocks as well. I may have shown that out in the uh, Planky Town video, but uh, there it is again. Just love to show that off. Um, so yeah, so the Lemonwoods are doing pretty well off. They've got some nice paintings around, some nice furnishings. Here we are on the uh, the Knight's Dais here. I must be careful not to say the Lord's Dais, because it is a knight that resides here. And uh, this beautiful feast hall here. Oh, that looks like a cake! Oh, that could be a cake! Very nice. That's sort of a, a slate roof pointed um, block, but uh, it seems like here it's been used as sort of a tiered cake. Oh, that's very creative. I like that. Um, yes, yeah, so moving along here, we're going to sort of head up um, through the main tower of the keep and get to the Lord's Chambers all the way at the top. We've got some suits and suits of ar ar armor here. Suits of iron, yeah. Suits of iron as well, I suppose. Um, we've got a bell tower over there as well. Um, this is several towers, sort of lookout towers. We've got a lighthouse um, around the keep as well. Oh, that's where we came from. Um, just up the stairs here, I think. We'll be heading into um, perhaps in some more noble chambers up here. Oh, here's that scorpion I was mentioning to you before. Beautiful scorpion there. Um, you can see sort of how this crossbow shape Sort of there's the string of the bow, and the bolt would have been positioned here, pulled all the way back, and then fired out onto uh, attacking ships out in the sea here. Um, you can see, you can still even see um, perhaps bits of Planky Town. That's definitely one of the ships from Planky Town, all the way in the distance there. And you can see all those lemon groves in the distance as well. Um, and down that way, we've got a bit of a graveyard for um, perhaps some of the previous knights of Lemonwood. And there's that lighthouse I was talking to you about before. And down here, we've got this beautiful awning um, for the, uh, the noble folk to sit and uh, enjoy the sea breeze and look out over there domain, so very nice. But heading up further, up this tower, we're going to find, oh, we're going to find some sort of pear bush, which is quite nice. Of course, pears might not grow as often in Dorne as elsewhere, but, you know, for the noblemen's, the noblemen's, the nobility, <laughs> um, pears are, are a, an easy thing to come across. So, there you go. We've got some noble chambers here, looks like, some of the colors of House Dalt there, um, the purple, anyway. Um, could be the Danes, perhaps. The Danes who also have silver and purple, but they are in the vicinity. Um, Starfall is definitely one of those builds I'm looking forward to. It's a work in progress at the minute. Um, but uh, it's moving along swiftly. We've got another little private dining area here. I just love sort of these potted plants all around, using these big bushy ferns. Very cool. And um, heading up to the top of this tower here, we've got this really beautiful, very ornate sort of ceiling here. This is clearly the top of this tower, using this marble to sort of um, contrast the darker and um, more yellowy sandstone textures, paired with those sort of green and purple and blue mosaic painted blocks. I just do think it has a really nice, pretty effect. Here we've got this lovely lush bed for the nobility, for the Knight of Lemonwood to sleep in, and that must be his suit of armor there. Very, very cool. Um, oh, we've even got a little Savas table here. Very nice. Of course, uh, Savas is sort of the sort of chess-like game uh, brought to Westeros uh, from Essos. It became very popular. Um, and uh, if I just hop on the table here, we can see, get a view of those ships out in the, the bay again. Or not the bay, but uh, sort of the sea there. And there's a bell tower. and looking out over those lemon groves, lemon orchards. Very, very pretty. And you might even be able to see a building all the way in Planky Town from here. Um, and if I just look out the other window here, sort of the windows are covering it, but you can see again the desert of Dorne stretching out all the way to the west there, um, infinitely it seems, and I showed off a bit of that um, in a different video, um, but uh, yeah, if you just uh, slash warp Lemonwood, you can see all of that and more, and I highly encourage you to check it out. Um, so that's it for episode 37, and I will see you next time for episode 38.